What's up, what's up, Nets fans? What's up? It's your boy, Mezzo. It's everybody's favorite cousin, Cousin Jeff. Cousin Jeff is Bizak. That's right. I like being bad. That's right. That's why right. Keep coming, yeah. man. Keep coming. The show's better yeah. with you in it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nah, that's too much love, but I appreciate it, cuz. For sure, for sure. Listen, this is another episode of BK Nets Work. Brooklyn. Where we talk Nets news. Uh, wait a minute. We ain't telling to... Don't forget to subscribe. That's right. We need... More subscribers so we can get this net stuff out to more Nets fans. Don't forget to remember what we do. Smack that like button, man. Smack that the domino smack. smack. You know what I'm saying? Smack that like button. <laughs> so we can get this content to more Nets fans yes. like yes, us and you. You know what I mean? But let's get right into it. It yes. sounds like the NBA might be back a little sooner than we thought. Yeah, I know. It might be back on December 22nd. Three days before Christmas. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, I understand the logistics of you know money wise. But then I oh, yes, they need their money. <laughs> but at the same time, though, like you know, for players that's really that went to the bubble, such as like that made deep into the playoffs, such as like the LeBrons, the Dwight Howards, the ADs. You know, like I think they you know kind of need a little break. I don't think that's enough time. Yeah, whatever. Uh, that's them. Our Nets <laughs> got enough time. KD's resting. Kyrie's resting. I'm ready to see basketball now. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're ready to go. I'm ready too. We should take full advantage. We Why should not? get. I think we might get a Christmas game. I don't know what you think, but I think the Nets might oh, get a Christmas game. Yeah. Like we, we got the star power, yeah. baby. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully Definitely. we can get a Christmas game. Nah, man, we're the peanut crop right now. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Yes, I love it. I love it. Hope we get a Christmas game. I love this talk. Well, we don't know yet. We don't even know if it's going to actually happen on December 22nd, but like Cousin Jeff alluded to, yo, they need that money, that mugger. You feel me? <laughs> they need it. That chicken. You feel me? So, I don't know. A lot of money's been lost already. I think the number that... If they don't start on December 22nd and they start like you know, around like Martin Luther King Day, yeah, they yeah, Christmas yeah, Christmas game. Christmas game. They, they losing about like 500 million. 500 M's? No. No, if you're gonna lose it, give me some of that. You're gonna lose it. You're gonna throw your boys. Your something. boys need some X. You know what I'm saying? You're a ball boy. You feel me? <laughs> anyway, let's keep it right moving. Uh, a lighter take. I wanted to talk to you about, mm. I actually heard the etcetera's. You know, we was pretty hard on Kyrie the last, the last show. We were hard on Kyrie the last show. And mm. I still hold on to my take that maybe, you know, you shouldn't have said what you said to not take shots at LeBron about him uh, not mm. never having a, uh, mm. uh, and also him needing mm. a collective effort of coaches, mm. which we're gonna get to, the mm. title of this show. You gotta keep watching to see what we talk about in the yes. end. Um, I heard the whole, um, it's called The Accelerist KD. It was great content. I heard the whole two hours. I was chilling, you know, watching my kids. So I was able to hear the whole two hours. And I think, you know, the people, uh, the media, you know how they do. They, they, they took the hottest topics. Like, it was so <laughs> great to hear Kyrie talk because I believe he's so intelligent. No matter what people say, they got the jokes about him thinking the world is flat or whatever the case may be. He's so intelligent, he's so spiritual. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, you know, I, I really want to take some of the, some of that heat back. So, Kyrie, you know how many times uh, I'll be apologizing to you all the time. So, <laughs> this is another apology. Your boy, so I'm apologizing. Nah, nah, nah. I heard it. He's not going to pay. He ain't hear it, but nah, I, I hear it. it. <laughs> but I just know, like, I like the confidence. Yeah. I like you having that confidence, but I just feel like right now, like, Anything you say, you know it's gonna be broken up to chopped and screwed, mm -hmm. and then it's just gonna be okay. Kyrie taking shots at LeBron James when you really had something prolific that you're trying to say and trying to boost yourself up and try to let everyone know how confident you are in your skills, you know. And, mm -hmm. and at the same time, giving love to your new team and your new post superstar Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. I get it, but like. You know, I just think you could have worded it a little bit better, differently. Now you know a little better. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think he was in the moment of them giving each other flowers the way that I heard it. Them giving each other so much flowers, like wow, like because the question was asked, who's gonna take the uh, last shot? Like yo, 
like you know look who I got you know what I'm saying and and he always saw himself mm -hmm. as that guy even with LeBron that with his confidence there mm -hmm. he saw himself as that guy because he's like yo I'm and even with LeBron right next to me I feel I'm, I'm more clutch than him. And, and, <clears throat> and that's him that's his yeah that's the that's mob of mentality yeah exactly he talked a lot about Kobe and their relationship yeah, yeah. it was very it was very if you guys get some time go go listen to the etc um, it's, I don't know if they have any film, anything. Oh, I was, you know, oh, I was searching, I was searching, I was searching. But I, I listened to it on, um, you know, all, all the platforms. Yeah. Listen to it. Um, <clears throat> next thing we got to talk about, cousin Jeff. Uh, KD and Kobe, they're back to work. They, they mentioned it and they alluded to it in the podcast. Uh, KD and Kobe, they, they was actually yeah. talking. Talking shit to each other mm -hmm. on the podcast, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. About who who um got the better who and you know, uh -huh. and they're back at it and they're back working and they going home. I like that. You know, oh, this is what you know, this is what I want to hear. Oh, all that other stuff, you know, I'm not really trying to hear it, but I really want to see you going back to work and getting ready because I know the potential of this team. I know like how great KD and Kyrie can be. Mm. So I want them to be ready healthy and just ready to kill I mean that's what I want I'm, re I'm ready to kill the league mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm anxious <laughs> but I'm not with all that talking though yeah. all that talking nah yeah. I'm not with it yeah. that's Look, ain't we, we move in silence you know what I mean exactly. it's Brooklyn baby you know yes, what I'm saying sir. we move in silence yes. you feel me that's how we got yeah, through it you feel me they, they wasn't talking about us remember yes. for the last two years they wasn't talking about us yeah we came up on the grind shout out to all the people the D Lows of the world the mm -hmm. Demarty Campbells you know what I'm saying the Ed Davis mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, um, what's my man name again? Um, nah, you know all of y'all, man. All y'all. Yo, um, uh, our, um, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, man. Yo, I wish you could have been here, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all grinding with us. I got a shout, shout out, oh, man. Shout out, Jared Because we been here, man. Jared Dudley. Yeah, you got your ring. Yeah, man. You got your Congratulations, bro. You put in work, bro. You put in that work. You know what I'm saying? Over here. Over here, you was over here. You put in that work. And you held it down. And you held it down. Shout out to them. Fast. Shout out to them. Shout out to my guy. Listen, we got some new stuff, too. They got some new jerseys coming out. You mm -hmm. saw the uh the uh tie dye throwback jersey that they, they yeah, I saw out. that. Yo, they roasted me or not roast me? They, they ain't roast me, man, because you know mm. they got respect for me on Instagram. A little respect, a little <laughs> respect. They ain't roast me. They was just like, yo, everybody in the comments was like, yo, I love those jerseys. No disrespect to y'all, but what what are y'all seeing? Something wrong with these? Uh, these ain't prescription or anything? But it looks kind of cheap. Uh, what? Yeah, cheap. I ain't uh, and, feeling it. Yeah, and it looks kind of like, you know, the, the, the little cyclone popsicle sticks and all that. Yeah, my daughter yeah. likes to eat and all that. Like, it got the red, blue, and yeah. white. Like, whoa, like, yeah. what's going on here? Like, it looked like a, like a you know, several made that <laughs> You know what is Brooklyn? And they wasn't feeling it. The other people, they were like, oh, no, that's, that's disgusting. I'm like, what? The Basquiat. Nah. Ooh. Of course. We got the Basquiat, I, I the, the city edition. people want to dedicated yeah. to Brooklyn artist. He was born in Brooklyn. I know. Sean Basquiat, and of also he's Haitian. Yes. Is out there. You know. Um. And KD, that's his favorite artist. So I guess yeah. they might be in that direction. A lot yeah. of people favorite artists, man. Respect you know, Basquiat for a fact. Yeah. And how can y'all not like that jersey, but like the tie dye Kool Aid looking jersey? <laughs> like I don't get it. Like y'all from Brooklyn? Uh, you like that jersey? There's probably some Knicks like fans chiming in. I was saying Knicks fan. You know Knicks fans are always delusional. Delusional. They're delusional. Speaking of taking shots, yo, my man KD was taking shots at Bron Bron last week. Uh, again, uh, again, man. <laughs> What's KD, going on, bro? KD taking. Yo, what does bro? What? I don't oh, know. No, them two, what bro? Them two <laughs> boys want bro. I like it. I like it too. I like I it. I love it. Yo, KD said he beat bro twice. He did right in the finals, which in his mind he <laughs> said <laughs> he said is. The most important finals of the decade or the mm -hmm. era, I believe he said something like what? that. What? Oh, I don't know. Look. I don't know. Right, I got KD, my man. I don't know. Right. I did not agree with you right there. I am oh. biased about this. But he said, so if Braun is the GOAT and he beat him twice, so what does that make him? Uh, all I know is that LeBron brought Rodney Hood and Jordan Clarkson to the finals to play against you, bro. 
the second time around. Rodney Hood. Rodney Hood. Der- Der- Darren Williams was on. Former net Darren Williams was on. Bro, I want to say this guy. Fankus. Who we were still paying Fankus. as of last year, I believe. Oh my god. So while he was in the finals with LeBron, the Brooklyn Nets were still paying. Put that together. <laughs> he got a free ride to the chip. No, he ain't got a chip. No, I said free ride to, to the, the chip. chip. Oh, to, uh, to, to, to the, the chip. chip. He done lined up. Yes. Not, yeah. not even LeBron could have got you a chip, bro. Damn. Damn. But you know, let's, let's mm-hmm. there. But yeah, but like I said, like, um, <clears throat> back to what you saying, like, yeah. I think that KD needs to understand something. Like, it's not like we don't think you're great. You're great. We respect you as a champion. We're glad you're here, baby. Yeah, I, trust me on that. I, I know you, you get busy, bro, but let's be real. You had Steph, Clay, Draymond, Livingston, Iguodala, Steve Kerr has the coach. Like, come on, man. Like, it was already a foregone conclusion that and JaVale McGee and JaVale McGee. <laughs> Yo, respect JaVale McGee, bro. I know you got to know these collecting rings. You got three. He's collecting he rings. Three. JaVale McGee. That's true. I, a lot of people wish they had JaVale McGee's type of Word. career. <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah, man. Big but yeah, like, but KD, yeah. though, like, it was foregone conclusion once you joined that Warriors team that you guys were going to win. There's no one. It was like a slight chance if Kyrie was still there healthy and he played. And that still wasn't even enough. Let's just be real. Like, it was foregone. That's why we look at those championships and be like, Okay, it's not special to us because it's like we knew you was gonna win. You know, it's like we knew this. Like, but we want to see you build something here, build a culture, build a winning culture here. Get this chip here, bro. And I promise you, you can talk all the smack you want, bro. You see, Bron did. Bron said, "Yeah, all right. I went to Miami, got two rings there, and he beat you for one of them with your other two co-stars. You still looking for James Harden out for that finals appearance? You don't know where he went, (laughs) James Harden." Where are you? But anyway, like I'm saying, he went back to Cleveland, got a ring, and then got that respect. Got that respect. Chip really got That's that number respect. one. That's the number one chip for LeBron right there. Yeah, yeah. The Heat was cool and everything like that. But the one in Cleveland, that's yeah. what made Aaron be like, Yo. yeah, man, we can't even say nothing about this yeah. guy. Like yeah, he's exactly. solidified. And then he went to LA and went on a revenge tour. In bro. the bubble. In the bubble. Come on. In the bubble. Yo, leave the king alone, bro. Don't poke him, man. Hey, you know what I'm going to say? Just <laughs> leave him alone. That out. If you're going to poke the beer, He's waiting. I hope you're ready. He's waiting. Yo, I hope you're ready. He's Brown, Brown ready. ready. He's loaded up. AD is over there. He's about to get five more over there. Five Man, more yes. years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's about to eat it up. You AD, know what I mean? AD healthy I too. <laughs> you ready. Because you got to see him again. Or you got to see Steph Curry again. Now, you gotta see him again, so maybe that's a that's something too that people gotta think about. Yeah. If he beats Steph Curry with these Warriors and they get back and they fully loaded and everybody's like, damn, the Warriors are back and he beats them, that that, that that's gonna be something yeah. for his legacy. Yeah, well. yeah listen man, that's any team out the West that he beats is gonna yeah. be yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they great great all great, great from great. Denver to Portland to Oh, well, well, you don't know about the Rockets because you don't know how, how they're going to end up. Mm. But currently constructed, they're still a good team. The Clippers, right. you know, with their low right. management. <laughs> <laughs> low management. <laughs> <laughs> they still want more low management now. So they're like, <laughs> please, <Man. laughs> Martin Luther King Day, right, Kawhi? Shots, shots. Woo. But yo, <laughs> well, good today. <laughs> My brother. Gotta get to the big news, the big news, so it is completing the round table. Yes. The round table yes. consists of Mike D'Antoni. Mm-hmm. My guy. Yeah, that's right. He's my guy. Amari Stoudemire. A.K.A. the former sun god. The former <laughs> sun god. You know, yeah. sta- standing tall and yeah. talented. My, my boy. Brought you New York back. Single-handedly right. brought New York back. 
and Ime Udoka along with Jacques Vaughn. That's the round table. Mm -hmm. The round table, mm -hmm. the head is Steve Nash, mm -hmm. Mike D'Antoni, Amari, Ime Udoka. Uh, shout out to him because your wifey, she was born in Brooklyn. Nia Long, shout out to her. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Your wifey was born in Brooklyn. You That's know what I'm saying? That's his wife. Oh, yeah. I know they were saying about Nia Long. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, Stephen A. be putting yeah, it bro. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? You ain't one of my book players. Hey, hey. <laughs> the guy obviously has uh, good vision. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he does. <laughs> yes. Know, yes. You feel me? Yes, uh, welcome. Like I said, the party. <laughs> no, the round table is complete with Java, all those guys. I'm excited. So the round table is complete. Yes, sir. It's, it's how do you feel? I want to know how you feel. I'm feeling. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling real good, good. You know, like you know, in Brooklyn, you know, we spread love. That's the Brooklyn way. That's and, right. and my man Steve Nash, the ace boogie of the NBA. Everybody eats, baby. You feel me? That just wrapped me up. Our team. You feel me? That's like you eat, you eat, everybody eat. Yo, you eat it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Maybe. It's shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, and I love it. You know, like, I, I like that. Like, he's he brought his peoples on. And every person that he brought on has been successful. And people he kept on his on, on the roster, on his coaching staff, has been with the team. So everybody on the team that's from the coaching staff has been successful in some sort of way. That's right. Either playing or coaching. That's right. So I, I loved it. And, and yeah, man, like I wasn't a big fan of the Steve Nash high at first because. At first, I remember. And at first, because you know why. Yes. You know why. <laughs> like, I don't have to go too deep nah, into nah, it. Nah, you know nah, what I mean? Nah, like, nah. you know why. Yeah. Like, and, but, you know, I like what he did, man. Like, he, he didn't just single out, just go get, you know, certain pieces to maybe. He kept, you know, he kept, he kept it real. Family. family. Yeah, gotta man. Know, gotta go. I love it. You know. Yeah, yeah man. man. Like, yo, and, and that's great. You got Mike D'Antoni, like. Has your assistant coach like, and he's the coach you, and we see dude, he got two league MVPs of the Mike D'Antoni, bro. Yeah, and he's good. He could be like the thank you producer. He could be like the Tex Winter yeah. for, for for my man Steve Nash, Mike D'Antoni. You know yeah, Tex so Winter is the, uh, the official yeah. triangle. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he could be like the Tex winner now, now that yeah, he's in man. his older age. Mm -hmm. You know, he could chill now, he could watch the young buck do what he do. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Do what he do, yo. Yeah, I love it. Tell us how you guys feel about it. We like it. Uh, I love Cousin it. Cousin Fresh I love approves it. it. <laughs> I approve it. I think we going, oh, the producer approves <laughs> it. We got a thumbs up. Everybody approves it. Everybody yeah. approves it. Let me know if you guys approve it. Yes. We might have some people that be like, yo, you know, we don't approve this. This is wild. This is crazy. You're crazy. But let me know how crazy you are. All right? Listen, we gotta go. We went OT overtime. Ooh. We had to talk today. Yeah. But listen, don't forget to follow us at BK Network. We got some stuff on the Grand Broad. We got stuff on Twitter. We got stuff on Facebook. All right? And the, yeah. the biggest thing we need to do is to subscribe. Don't forget to do that. All Please. right? Hit that, smack it, smack that like button so we can get. This stuff out to all these that's fast. Listen, we wish we could stay, but we gotta Spread go. The love. It's your boy Mizzle. It's your boy Cousin Chuck. And we out of here. It's Brooklyn, baby. We out. Peace.